Hello and welcome to another Taylor Box Box Talks. Today we are going to be talking about this beautiful rigid merchandising box for uh, Gosling's Rum. If you've ever had a dark and stormy, you have Gosling's to thank for it, or we have Gosling's to thank for it. Um, it's one of the most popular dark rums and it's still made in Bermuda where it has always been made. For this unique package, we were working with Klim Design, uh, a design agency that was partnering with Gosling's, and they were looking to bring a new fresh look to the Gosling's old rum. Klim and Gosling's chose a tray with a three panel lid as the base construction, mostly because uh, it is considered one of the more premium structures. This construction style requires some kind of clasp to keep the tray lid closed. In this case, they went with magnets. Magnets are still a very popular choice for premium consumer goods, marketing kits, sales kits, etc. Anytime uh, where you want some sort of haptic or tactile experience, um, people really love a magnet closure. It's just got the right amount of resistance to open. Other options include dual lock or Velcro, uh, but I think magnets are still maintaining their position as, as the choice closure for a premium package. So as you can see, as the box opens, what was once the sort of spine that would be facing out towards the, the consumer is now open to reveal the bottle. Things to note about this box once it's opened are the, is the beautiful foil stamping on the inside tip. Uh, the tip is the piece of paper that runs along the inside of the folder and it's often used for any kind of special brand messaging or consumer messaging. In this case, it's got a description of the history of the Gosling's brand. Then we have a red lining on the inside of the tray. Now, you know, why not black? Why not black like the rest of the package? Well, obviously this is a beautifully elegant bottle that is shaped like a champagne bottle because the Gosling's lore is that Gosling's was first bottled in champagne bottles left behind by the British army in Bermuda. Um, so in this case, the shape of this bottle is very important to the Gosling's brand and it would completely disappear if it were set against a black backdrop. So they chose to line the box with another uncoated red paper to create a beautiful contrast and allow the silhouette of the bottle to really stand out. You'll see in the top of the box, there is a little folded insert that does contain some foam. So if the box were to be recycled, they would have to pull out the foam but that is to provide some cushion and a little bit of pressure. When the bottle gets put into the box, it goes in nose first into that insert, cushions down, and then is nice and secured. This means when you're shipping through transit, no concerns about the bottle slipping out or busting out of the box. Um, and it also means that it's nice and secure on your merchandiser shelf. This Gosling's box is an exceptional example of how rigid paperboard packaging can be used to enhance a brand presentation on a retail shelf. This box was especially selected because of its ability to open and close so that retailers of the bottle could show off the beautiful bottle packaging and the beautiful wax dipped neck of the bottle out on the store shelf you know let people touch it and feel it but then also wrap it right up and make it a beautiful sort of collector's piece when you get home we are really proud of the end product of this collaboration with klim design for goslings and this rigid paperboard package actually won a gold award this year at the paperboard packaging council just a few weeks ago so we're really proud of it if you have a product package that requires a rigid paperboard box please give us a call. We look forward to working with you on your project or just answering any questions you might have about rigid packaging. Thanks for stopping by.